Dina Does. I am Dina Del Rose, and this is a get ready with me and go thrift shopping video, which is actually my first real thrift shopping experience. Let's go. Are you guys ready? Crazy process, but here we go. Take off the glasses. I put lotion on. I just took a shower. Eyeliner, favorite thing. Get the eye boogies out. No one wants to see no eye boogie. We're gonna do a little brush brush to these brow that I grew out during COVID and I just decided to keep. I'm embracing my full brow. After that, bronzer, Too Faced, which I'm not unless you consider my Gemini side. It's a vegan bronzer and it smells like chocolate. I got it from Sephora. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I don't know if this is the proper way because I don't know much about makeup, but this is what I do. That's it for makeup. If I want to get real crazy, I put on mascara. I steal my sister's because mine ran out. But um, I'm only going to the thrift store, so you know what? Let's go crazy. Squeeze, squeeze. Buff it up. And there you have it. My makeup is done. And for my hair, it's gonna go. Look at that. And there you have it, folks. Thanks for getting ready with me. That's all I do for the most part. And then. My chapstick. I don't wear lipstick because it kind of freaks me out. I don't know why it just does, but um, let's go do that. I have my Nivea and my chapstick, and I know vegan people, these are both not vegan, at least from the last time I checked. I'm still in the process of finding a good vegan chapstick that I like. I've tried a lot and I don't like a lot of them. And for now, I just gotta use what I like. Yeah, for now. So much better. Just a slight touch of pink with a little pinch of a gloss. Here is my outfit for today. Very comfy and accessible, you know? When I go shopping, I tend to get really agitated. So I have to wear stuff that's comfortable and not a pain to wear. When I try on clothes, I have to wear stuff that's easy to take off and easy to put back on, including my sneakers, because if not, not a happy shopper. Let's go. I'm in the parking lot of Second Ave Thrift Store. It's in my neighborhood. I pass by it all the time. It's probably been here for almost a year now, if not longer or a little bit shorter. And I haven't stopped in. My cousin Caitlin, shout out to my beautiful cousin Caitlin in Colorado, who if she wasn't in Colorado, she would be here with me today shopping. But she reminds me how important it is to be eco-friendly and shop second hand as much as possible because of the impact that it has on saving uh, the environment because a little goes a long way that's like been my motto this week i'm looking for t-shirts sweaters maybe a skirt maybe a dress i don't know this place is huge side note there used to be a shop right here in this location and it closed down for a while and just driving back into the parking lot. It's so weird because it used to be like the place that I shopped for my whole life, most for the most part, up to a couple years ago. I'm looking forward to seeing all the different styles and I don't know, like this is, I guess the, the point of thrifting is you never know what you're gonna find and to be open, I'm still looking and figuring out what style I have. I try to be versatile, it depends on my mood. I'm still figuring it out, I'll get back to you on that. But that's the whole point is like, you could just find different things that stand out to you and at a discounted price, which is my other exciting reason why I'm thrifting because I am on a budget, y'all. I try not to shop, I'm trying to save money. I uh, just wanna shop smart and not only for my bank account, but for the environment. I feel like people are master thrifters and stuff, but, and I think it's awesome. I'm not there, obviously, and I'm just excited to see and try and see what I'm gonna find. Also, another thing, it's, they open at 9 a.m. It is like 9.15. Here we are. Another way for me to not be anxious while I shop is to go early when there's not that many people. Oh, and I forgot my face mask. You can't forget your face mask. It's 2020 people. You can't go anywhere without that. We shall wait no longer. Good morning, second new customers. Today's sales colors are 50% off blue and pink. This place is massive. This is for your safety as well as the safety of our employees. Look how cute this skirt is. 
And it's $10. And so much stuff so much quicker than I thought I'm gonna try them on I know it's like taking a chance we're still COVID I'm just gonna do it and hair clip a necessity for shopping because this hair will drive me mad seven dollars this skirt is seven freaking dollars that's crazy hard I like it but I don't know if it's like fitting it's just like a little pinch too tight I feel like it might show those you know cellulite areas it's really cute and it's comfy besides it being just a pinch too tight you know, do a little dance loosen it up a little bit oh my goodness you guys a full freaking pantsuit what It is a little bit see-through, but if I wear it with the jacket, it covers all the spots that you gotta worry about. Perfect. What? I don't even think it was used because the pockets are not even broken in. Wow. And I think this is 25. Two five. And it comes with a belt. I don't know what, what this is, but there's two of them. Wow. I'm feeling this. Oh, I forgot to mention that my budget is $75, okay? I do not want to go over $75. I don't know where I'm going to go in this, but I like it. Fits like a glove. A little shoulder pad action. I like this little gold thread detail. And these big buttons. <gasps> Do the pockets work? I don't think so. It's okay. Dollars. What? I found a grandpa jacket. I probably could have just taken this off. Or am I supposed to wear it in the dressing room? Guys, I don't know. I've barely been shopping the past year. Whatever. Okay. Look at this jacket. Look, you guys. Oh my god, I love it. It's not too long. The arms are perfectly padded. It's got a button. Working pockets. This is $6. I heard on the uh, loudspeaker that pink and blue tags are 50% off. If so, that means this is the three. jacket that I thought I was gonna have to look at my hair guys this is great I thought I was gonna have to spend like a hundred dollars on a new like nice winter jacket like if I go to the city or something so I don't <laughs> I don't even know where I'm wearing all these clothes because I have no plans we're still in like COVID but whatever it's you never know but look at this jacket for $25 and then I think I have to cut myself off because I'm pretty sure it reached the 75 limit but that's okay I got so much to do. Okay, ready, look. Little cuff. It's long. Like, what? Look at this. Oh, it has a nice deep pocket. Oh my gosh. It's like a hand warmer built in. I love it. The length is a little short in the arms, but if you wear a little sweater underneath, you're fine. Or a long sleeve shirt. I can't believe this. Like, I can't. I'm feeling sassy. I can pop the collar. What's up? What's up? 
feel like it kind of has that robe vibe and I like it. Not a robe, it's a jacket, but it feels like a robe. In the winter, I don't even want to go outside, but I will if I feel like I'm in a robe. I reached basically like an hour, if not more, and definitely over my budget. Go over everything to make sure this <laughs> I want everything. I'm finished with my first thrifting, my first real thrifting experience, and it was, I didn't know, I didn't really have any expectations going into it, but if I did, it like blew them away because I did not expect to find a beautiful pink pantsuit with blazer and a uh, belt and a beautiful winter coat. I I did end up going a little bit above budget. I wanted to spend 75. I ended up spending 120. Look at all of the items that I bought. How many total? I'm going to average this out. Hold on. I have 13 items and I spent 120, which when you average, it comes out to like $9.30 per piece approximately. I mean, come on, where can you get that? This was a great experience. This is dangerous I think. <laughs> for me, but good for the environment. But it's all about being mindful. Great experience. I can't wait to show my sister what I got and then maybe she'll come with me next time. There's so many things that I was like, oh, I want this. I will definitely thrift again. For the most part, I feel like I don't have a reason to go to the retail stores except for you know jeans but next time I'll try on some jeans I didn't get to the dress section I didn't get to the guys stuff because I like to include some you know masculine pieces into my wardrobe especially like loose t-shirts didn't even have a chance <laughs> to get to any of that so next time thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts do you go thrifting do you have any tips to share let me know because this is something I definitely want to do more of and let me know why you thrift let me just know all those things anything you're thinking just you know not anything anything regarding to thrifting let me know with lots of love dina de rose with dina des ciao for now